Okay, just making sure everything's a lot good. I'm making sure. Okay, so we got sound. Okay. Alright, okay, so we have sound, but I do not have. Going controller's not working. One second, let's make sure this is all good to go. Oh, there we go. We're playing Jot Hack today. Yes, I want to save them. And this is the day, the graphics are going to be 100% simply because this is a port of a PS2 game that has been remastered. Wow, it's still really loud in my ear. Um, hold on, options. Sound. The only problem is if I turn it down anymore, then it's a problem. I think that's better. Um, because it's just like half volume. How does the background sound real quick, Kai? This is straight up one of my most favorite games. It's a shame because I never played the second volume. Okay. It's just it's so loud in my ears, though. Like, this is where it's supposed to be at. No, let's do three? See how that is compared to me? Okay, it's a little bit loud. I think two is the sweet spot. It's slightly above half of what I'm talking. So I should be a lot louder. Does it need to be changed? The sound effect and the voices aren't changing. It's simply just the music. Okay, so choose the sweet spot. So what's great about this game is that they actually... Actually, wow. They added another volume that we'll eventually get to, which furthers on... It's like an epilogue, sort of, sort of. It's like an OVA. But before we do all this... God, the amount of times I stared at this art, and I was always so upset that, uh, hair in my mouth, sorry about that, um, we get this outfit in the game, and it's so nice, but you literally only have it for maybe the last back half of Volume 3, and even in Volume 4, he gets a new outfit. It's like, really? But let's start Volume 1. Uh, recommends for those who have played the hack to you before, or only want it for enjoy. Hell no, we want the normal game. Did I put subtitles on? Um, hello darkness, my old friend. Okay, hold on. One second. For some odd reason, it is not picking up. It picked up everything up until the end game cutscenes. Okay, so let's delete the source. Remove. So while we're doing this, we're going to go over the name of the stream, which is is it Adoli or Atoli? Throughout the game, they never made they never fixated on how you actually say the one character's name. You have some people that's called it Adoli. And then the next person in the same sentence will go, Atoli. It was just a running joke between me and my sister when we played these, this game when we were younger. And it just was, even to this day, you never know if it's Atoli or Atoli. And it just depends on which character is speaking. Um, so, create source. The hack slash slash GU. Okay, let's transition this back. By all means, let's see if it's working. Okay. There we go.
forgot I muted myself. So basically, this is, you're playing a character who is playing an MMO, and you're playing their character. Weird. I know. I don't know if they're, I don't know, do they go over the premise of the game, of what's happening really early? Like, is it something I should explain, or do you think the game does it? Because this, I don't know if they assume that you played through the original four. Hello, Sasuke. Wow, this is cool. Oh god, maybe the voices need to go down. Hey! Hey, you! You, the adept rogue! Yeah, the, the voices yeah, need to you. go down. Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! So, I take it this is your first time playing this game. Yeah, I just finished installing it to my PC. Well, if you wish, we will be honored to show you around. So many belts on Haseo. Huh? I am sure you would like to become well acquainted as soon as possible. Just say yes and come along with us. I promise you won't regret it. Uh... All right, it is decided then. Here, I'll hand you my member address. Member addresses are short email addresses that you can yeah, only I'll have use to lower in the, the world. Voices, uh, down in a second. Short mail allows you to instantly send and receive messages from any player online in the world. You can only invite people that you have member addresses for to join into your party. All right, so let's open the menu. Oh God, it's not PlayStation controls. Um, which one's Y? Circle? Okay, hold on. Select party, I know, but one second. Uh, strategies, quests, status, trigger, customize, equipment, skill, items. Oh God, I don't love. This is a list of all the people who have a member address. Okay, I know. Member addresses. They're pretty much friend codes like in Switch. On the Switch and stuff. Okay. Let's... Yes, I, uh, IO10. Oh, I am NASA. honored to lend you... Okay. Okay, great. Now your party is complete. Remember, you can only invite people logged into the world. Enough with the formalities. Should we go on to your first... Event? Yes. Uh, head to save shop and save. Hold on. Um, kiosk. Okay, so we have to come over here. Um. Do I physically... Oh, hold on. I think I have to go to the main... Um, I need to turn up the sounds. But I can't do so. I can't. I have to go through the whole tutorial with the with the noises being so loud. The only other way is to completely exit out of the game. And well, who wants to do that? But while well, we're here, wait. Cursor memory vibration, map. Oh God. I think the touch. The touchpad works for the PlayStation Four. Paddles. That's just weird. Okay. So the premise of. Awesome, okay? So the premise of this is technically the world, too. There was a four Dot Hat games that came out before this, which was the initial world. There was a virus that took over, and thus they shut it down. This is how, 10 years? Or five years, okay? After the events of the first Dot Hack, and they reopened up the world again. The world is the MMO that technically you're playing. So technically, even though that this is the character or main character of the story, you're playing an actual person playing this character. You never see anything outside of a computer screen, like a desktop or the world. Um, there's forums and everything that we'll go into later. And I believe they summarize a lot of the stuff that happens in the other games. This is a transporter called the Chaos Gate. As we progress through the story? Players can use this to travel from the root town to other locations. Okay, one second. You know what I'm gonna do? 
while we wait, I'm just gonna turn down the volume mixer of it. No, I'll turn down the whole thing. Yeah, I know, but I can't fix them. I fix... Okay, hold on. We're gonna do some uh, cheeky little stuff right here. So we're gonna put in display capture. Uh, oops, there goes the game. Let me save, and I, I, I have to turn down the voices. It, it, it's just too much. Yeah, this game doesn't even work with mouse and keyboard. You f and what bothers me most is that they don't even give you an option to have PlayStation 4 prompts, despite it being originally a PS2 game. Okay, voices need to go down to like a sex. Sound effects can go up to four. Three. Four is fine. Uh, movie volume. Okay, this should be a lot better. It was on 10. We go back to volume one, rebirth. We load the data. Yes. And the game actually goes pretty in depth in terms of an MMO. Like, there's a whole PvP system, but their form of PvP is fighting, uh, placing, fighting other player characters. They're not real people, but it's like a PvP esque world. Okay. Yeah, I know. We saved. Menu. This is a trans- Players can use this. Choose warp menu. Okay, go to the warp menu. In the world, all locations except for root towns, fields, and dungeons are called areas. You can warp to these areas by combining three words at the chaos. These words determine the type of area, monster strength, and so on. All right, let's try out the word selection. Choose area word from the menu. Is this still really loud? This is where you input the words. The thing at the top is the word plate. You combine the three words in here to create the area you want to go. The gyro at the left of the screen shows your current stock of words. Uh, you know what? Screw this shit. One second. They're physically going to make me turn it down in the volume mixer. Um, open volume mixer. Okay, how's this? You can get more words by getting information okay, from better. other players, emails, and forums. I turned it down. It was on 10. I turned it down to 6. Okay, I'm not physically Okay, concerned. why don't you give it a try? Let's start with the first word. Is that better? Choose courageous from your stock. So basically, this is just a tutorial showing you how you can go through any of the areas. As he just explained, you'll get different area words, and then you'll get something called um, area addresses. They're kind of like members' addresses. It's just the three words combined. You can acquire them from party members, people mail boards, and they'll tell you, oh, well, there's something cool here, or you can get a good piece of gear from this, or this is a good spot to level if you're level 10 and so on, and you can get addresses that way at any time. Well, not right now, because we're still in the quote-unquote tutorial. You can just create any kind of words, and it'll give you a randomly generated world. And then you want engaging daydream. So, for instance, the world for this will be uh, the symbol, which is Delta Courageous Engaging Daydream. And that was, if to say if this was a real thing, you could put that in a form, and that's how you would share it between two members of okay. the game. Okay, now you can go to your... Oh yeah, I almost forgot. See the mark left of the area where... That's a server symbol. It indicates the server you're currently in. Right now, it's showing triangle for Delta. So, as you can see, we are all in the Delta server. If it's a different server, you'll go to another area even with the same area Pay word. attention to the server symbol when invited to an area by a friend. If you want to know more, just check out some of the forums. All right. Then we're off to okay. Delta Courageous and... So, we're going to look at this screen for a second. Uh, no. I physically can't press no. So basically, it tells you the area level, which is behind the initiate area word. That's the level of the monsters. Then you got the treasure level, meaning that that's the level of whatever you pick up. So if you pick up a sword, a weapon, armor, 
or anything, it's going to be level 1. Above that is elements, because it's like the standard elements tell me that there's water and excuse me, smoke, and then it tells you whatever the mission is. Sometimes the mission is simple as um, get to the bottom of the dungeon or activate so many things. So, we've all been transported to a field. Open your map to take a look at the layout. But I mean, in hindsight, they are kind of being nice. Oh, wait, am I not? Oh my god. I mean, they're really telling you how to play map. the game. Okay. Use this screen to check current position. So the mission is to get the beast statue, which is in the bottom of the corner. I wish... Can I show you my mouse on this? No. This is our mission. So basically, we have Missions to get... Missions are basically... Okay. It looks like this is a... We must collect three symbol fragments and make our way to the beast temple. I the can symbol explain fragments this quicker. are in treasure. The altars are protected by monsters. Or so. defeat the monsters first, then open the treasure. These are the altar icons. I suggest we first head to each of these icons and open the treasure chests. Now, this is the which is our final death. Okay, okay. Now that I know how to read a map. Wait up, Asta. You forgot one more. Okay. So these are the platforms, and it's pretty much you can heal at them. You can go back to the main world. That's all. Okay. This time, let's. Mm. Okay, thank you. So, just say if I'm all the way over here and I want to log out of this game. I can't log out, and from here I physically have to go to one of these to get out of this world. It's just a weird way. Well, I forgot how nice the, um, they actually upgraded the game. Nice! We found an all- All the goblins. Thank you. Now, okay, um... Your life hack. belongs to me! Once a battle begins, the, the battle. battle area is surrounded by the battle fence, so it's virtually impossible it's for called. anyone to escape. I just called it the magic bubble. The only way to escape from a battle is when... Asta and I don't have one right now. So... Well, it... Hold on. I'm trying to figure out lock-on, but I don't think I've learned that. Oh, I hope you like that sound. Hey, you're you're going to hear that same string for so much. Not so difficult. Uh. Yeah, keep it up. That's it. Just continue. Okay, regular attacks, combo attacks. Wait, there's a guard? Uh. Oh. Like all PS2 games, I just, uh... Twin uh. moons! Oh wait, apparently I got disconnected from chat. Ogre sword! Armor Pierce! Not bad. I think I need to turn it down more. For, I, I know, you're just gonna hear that for like the next like eight games. Okay, you literally explained this to me, and then you explained it more. I get it. I don't want to be rude by cutting off the cutscenes, but my god, we can be here all day watching them. Alright, we found another off. I'll teach you about using sk Okay. The thing is, is that the voice acting is so, um, unique. And I love how these are like, oh, we make quick. sure you always get a surprise the regular attack. Skills enable okay. Oh god. So that's the skill. Okay. Do what you see you the four panels? You can press the button that corresponds to- Okay. Now Basically. Alright. Alright. Perfect. The skill They're basically trigger quick is not skills. just a shortcut. Okay. It can also be used to stop enemy attack. Aren't you forgetting there some... is an even more important... Of course I haven't forgotten. You're talking about Rengeki, right? Oh my god. Rengeki. Okay. I forgot how much this... They make it... Rengeki! They make it seem like it's so confusing. Like, oh, there's all these proper terms to it. And it's really, there it's you not. Go. Very well. They'll glow when idea. you can use a spell on them. And if you use a spell on them, you get morale and you deal more damage. The more morale you can get means that you can do stuff like team attacks and stuff that deals a lot of damage. 
Gale Blade! Oh god, I thought that was lock on. Okay, hold on. That resets the camera. This rotates. Armor Pierce! I'm trying! That was nothing. I was trying to figure out how to do the lock on you people. Camera type, cursor memory, you know. Okay, so it's. See, we can do stuff there. Customizes armor. Status goes over that. Beast awakening. Uh, change awakening mode. Okay, we're not at that point yet. But at the same time, I think the game needs to be turned up. Like the actual, like I could barely hear the uh, sound effects. But the voices, I think, definitely need to go down. If you tell me, look, that's gonna be the last one. I am going to like scream at these. We people. got him. Tiger Blitz! Shadow Flash! We never lose! Okay, that, 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 that noise ain't, is definitely just going to okay. Oh god, they're gonna tell me about the beast statue. I, I know about the beast statue. Basically, it has a treasure in it. Yeah! Okay, you know what? No. You're just gonna be like, okay, now we have to go to the Beast Temple. The Beast Temple is what happens when you get all three symbols. After getting three symbols, you can go into the Beast Temple. They take a very long time to explain it. In a typical JRPG fashion. Basically, by getting the three symbols, you unlock this chest. And this chest will give you the best item in the area. It's usually higher than the area symbols. See? It's a little beast. And a chest. But, I mean, these people are really nice. They're taking the time to figure out and really teach me how to play the game. This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law. Wait, they have names? We just call it the Beast Statue. But I think in the game's story, it's supposed to be an important god or something. Do beast statues have names? You see that treasure box? That's the offering to the beast statue. There's a rare item inside of that that you can only get in this area. Go ahead and open it, Haseo. You sure? Go ahead. You're still a noob. You need all the help you can get. Oh, got sky armor. They were very helpful. Ooh, pretty cutscenes. Or quote unquote pretty cutscenes. <gasps> what the The items in the treasure chest are your rewards. Yes, and our reward is you. <laughs> I love taking out these pathetic noobs. It's really quite fun. Face it, an idiot like you isn't qualified to play this game. Hey, hold on. I thought you said I could kill this one. Don't you remember? After all, this is my reward. Make him spend. Make him spend. Oh my god, Hasayo. I'm really upset that the chainsaw blades aren't chainsawing. Yes! No! I love how they didn't really bother to animate his face anymore. And I love how this is like only one of the few cutscenes that we've seen so far. It wish that the characters actually. I know. How pathetic. <laughs> Their character mounts don't move at all when they talk or well, anything. Spectrum, a noob who's just logged in. But yet, when he time. was yelling, there there was. Oh, come on, say something. Now, does this assume that you watched Roots or no? 
I swear. This just takes place in instead of first, or first takes place afterwards. I was always confused on when the anime happens. <laughs> hey, yes. You're still around, aren't you, kid? Which one? Huh? What the? Wait. Hold on. If Roots was first, then why doesn't Ha se Okay, but wasn't Hatsuo in Roots or no? I could have sworn he was. Because their whole thing with him and Bordeaux. That was pretty much the same thing. Did they just switch it up? Or why is, does he need the whole, oh, I just installed the game if he's played it before? I was like, I got reset. Data drain and reset to one. I know. But then why he was like, I just downloaded the ga game. Is this a thing that they made continuous after like the second or third volume and they really didn't think about opening up this game to go in line with the roots? Okay. I think that's what it is. Ovan. Ovan is the most dick in this whole game. He's there when you don't... When you need him, he's not there. But yet, he's always everywhere. I love how it's like, you don't respawn or anything. You just lay there dead. It's like, they respawned, but Haseo didn't. He just lays there like... I'm waiting to be respawned, or someone to resurrect me. Welcome to the world. I might be able to do the settings from the desktop. I might not have to physically exit out of the game, but I don't know when we get that eight months later. Oh, so basically they just... Oh, I got ahead of myself. Because isn't this Bordeaux? Oh my god, fucking Bordeaux, you sexy bastard. Has nothing to do with Mary Elizabeth McClendon, though. Please help me. Just the way Bordeaux is, you gotta love her. So, in a sense, I don't know if they're gonna explain it right now, so I will. What an idiot! Hi, Bordeaux. It's eight months later. Haseo turned into a. Basically, the economy is. You're going to the wiki for this shit. Okay, I'll. While you figure that out. So, it's eight months later since Haseo got PK, which is player killed, and he has become the PKK, which is a player killer killer. He doesn't kill players, he only kills player killers. Which is ironic. And his tag name ends up going by Haseo the Terror of Death. To the point where he becomes a legend on the forums, and we'll see that in a little bit. <laughs> now let's get back to this. Hmm? Adelaide. Atole. <laughs> Huh? Uh, uh, the terror of death. Okay, I think I need. The PKK. I think I need to stop explaining stuff because the moment I explain it, the game explains it. And it's been years since I played this game. Okay. Oh my god, the scythe!
think Samurai's Roots up or not. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen it, but... I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be that strong. I guess this means that the rumor about you killing 100 PKers wasn't a lie after all. Hey, come on, don't look at me like that. Here. It is where you're looking for the right? So just take it easy, calm down, and die! Because it's very different than her normal stuff. <sighs> Same voice actress as Alex from the Resident Evil games, including Resistance, by the way. Turn it on. Do you know Triedge? What did you say? <laughs> He's a legendary PK, shrouded in blue fire. They say players that get killed by him never come back to the game. Huh? Oh, come on now. Don't tell me you actually believe that crap. Those old forum fairy tales. So, you think you can go up against me, the great Bordeaux, and just walk away like nothing happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can. <laughs> Hello, Mark. I know. So long till we see this outfit again. Hold on, are they gonna do it? So it's you. You, the character that stinks of death. Are they gonna do it? The terror of death. You're the PKK, Haseo. Isakaki. Players who kill other players are disgraceful. And I agree it's terrible how PKs can just strut around the world so easily these days. But is it right that you PKKs have chosen to use brute force to stop them? I don't have time for this. Not now. You have no authority, and it earns you nothing. So why? Sakaki wasn't bad. He just shows, shows up at the worst My times. Friends call me Sakaki, and I'm afraid I cannot overlook your actions. Did you say Moon Tree? What's that? The name of a guild? <laughs> Sorry, Sakaki, but I've already got enough friends. Thanks. <gasps> Do you always interrupt people like that? You know, Sakaki wasn't finished talking to you yet. <sighs> <gasps> Shino. Huh? Atoli. Oh, Do you know this Atoli. person? Uh, no. Atoli. It's not unusual to meet players with similar characters in an online game like this. I feel like I need to start Italian. How many times is Atoli or <laughs> uh, Tolly? Just a case of mistaken identity. Hey, you. Why don't you just... Huh? A text message. Despite the Delta fact hidden forbidden waterfall. Adelie. Waiting I know. at RK Kelm. But who sent it? <gasps> One second. Ovan. <laughs> I really wish that they put like a crash course of the anime into this, because you don't understand how much of a dick o Ovan was. Just hold on a moment. Dude. Why don't you stop uh, acting like a complete pretty fool? Pretty sure if this Remember, was in a world, he would just straight up kill you, Sakaki. are trying to do. If you succeed, you'll be no different from the PKs themselves. I 
I remember just going to random worlds just to look at how beautiful they were. Ovan. It's been a long time, Haseo. Or maybe I should call you the Terror of Death. You need to just... I know. You've gotten quite strong. A lot stronger than you were back then. Well, I was forced to become stronger. Thanks to you. You. Where have you been? Haseo. Always the reliable one. I knew I could count on you. When the Twilight Brigade broke up, why didn't you come then? Okay, this is bothering me because they're not explaining it. Okay, so everything that happens before Ovon resurrected him when he first got PK'd, from that point to this point, there was a whole, like, a season or two of anime called Dot Hack Roots, in which it showed Haseo learning to play the game. He was a part of a guild called the Twilight Brigade, in which Ovon and Shino ran and he grew a lot of fun of Shino and he kind of got a crush on Shino and they became very best friends then something happened in which the game attacked Shino and put her into a coma Haseo has been looking to the only link to that which is known as Triage when Shino was put into a coma Ovon completely disappeared for months no one heard of him, no one saw him, and everyone thought that something happened to him, but he simply just disappeared. And now, this is eight months later, and we get to this point. That's, I think that summarizes up Roots in, like, a nutshell. What have you been doing the last six months? I was busy. They just told us it was eight months. Seed. I needed to find out what was growing inside. And there was only one way to find out. That's why I decided to raise it. You raised it? What are you talking about, Ovan? I'm speaking figuratively. Sure you are, Ovan. When you suddenly oh, okay. disappeared, we all just... Why did you disappear like that? <sighs> After that, she knows. It takes him a while to tell you... Haseo, do you want to know about Triage? Wait, you know Triage? Six months now, and Shino hasn't come back to the world since Triage killed her. Again, I, I need to stop explaining stuff because the game just does it. Coma, and no one seems to know the reason why. Triage, he is not a normal PK. So you knew about Shino? Yes. But that's all that I know. But if you were able to find Triage, you might learn something about oh. Shino's coma. You may also learn more about what really happened that day. And if you were somehow able to defeat Triage, then maybe Shino would come out of the coma. If my information is correct, he will be back today at the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime. You mean... Delta Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. The place where Shino was killed. The Holy Ground's Cathedral. Yes, finally. I'll get my chance. I swear I'll bring Shino back. I'll do it, Ovan. Yes. You and I, we're the only ones who could possibly bring her back. We're the only ones. <laughs> Ovan? I'll meet you at the Holy Ground. There are some things I must do. Oh, cool. They're just going to tell me to come here. This was um one of the worlds that was he very important important the to the crime. story for the first of the world in the first four games. Triad and the first um coming here. 
anime signs. So it's nice that they brought it back and still made it very important to the plot. Is Helga in this game? Very rare thought. Helga is a character from the first game. Oh, dang, I loved Helga. Oh my god, this music. How much is this music going to be played? I can just see it now. It's going to become like the original, um... Tsukinan not day Is that what it's called from Final Fantasy X? Here. Oh, sorry, I'm talking over Shino here. Girl? That's right. She was called Aura. I wonder, why'd she disappear? Who knows? I was close. Maybe she just lost her interest. Lost hope for this world. What's that sound? That's the login music for when you start the game. Okay, so you might not know this, so I'm gonna explain it real quick because it, I'm pretty sure they do not mention this anywhere at all. Because I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure they don't. This is um, Triage, obviously, but his model is based on that of the first of the protagonist of the first four games. Azure Kai, is that right, Kai? Well, was that his name? I know it was Kai. I don't know if it was Azure Kai, or is that something for just this game? But yeah. <laughs> Dry You bastard! I will say the music's dope in this game. If we're playing a PlayStation 2 game. I kind of figured that. I'll hear like one weapon didn't work against him, so let's choose a different one. At this point, we don't know that he's not a real player. Drain. 
Okay, so fun fact about the dang sound that was used from the first version of the game to give players a minor warning this case was coming and you would be data drained or pulled into a coma. So Huh? What the I was fighting Tri Edge. But then okay. Damn it, I can't remember. Huh? I don't remember doing reformatted. What's going on? Hold on. One second. Crimson versus news capture mail station of the world. Uh, assess- Reformatted? What's oh, going God. on? Okay, so basically... Triage is important because he goes into the whole thing of the first game and data draining. So at this point, Triage used the ability called data drain, which alters the data of the game. And he's, we're gonna learn right here that he has no emails. Huh? And what the hell? They're all gone. Even the emails he got from Shino, and we're gonna learn that everything's been reformatted. What the hell is going? You have an one new email. email. Okay. Is it from Ovon? Fucking Ovon. Ovon? And, yes. So basically, and then we learn that he gets reset to level one, which explains why we start out with nothing and we have to build up a whole character over three games. Uh, there are two paths before you. One will lead you into safety and shame. It's a path where you give up the world and never log in again. The other path leads to peril and pride. It's a path where you continue the world and resume your search for the truth. Let me be blunt. The later path is torturous and you'll be threatened both your mind and body. Once you have chosen this, there is no turning back. If you still choose to walk this path, then... Then there will come a time when you and I will meet again in the world. When this time comes, I have one thing. I, I will once again say this to you. Welcome to the world. Trial and truth. Whether or not I should quit the world? You should know better, Ova. I'm gonna go back to the world. I'm gonna get Shino back, no matter what. For Ovan, for being pretty much an actual person, he pretty much knew the whole, like, course of treatment of what was going to go on. He knew stuff that even the developers of the game didn't know. So right now, that was our desktop. We're logging in. Um, hold on. With this, can I actually, like, read forms and stuff? Yes, we can. So these are news captures. It gives you a little bit more backwards, uh, not backwards, backgrounds to what goes on. Like, for instance, this gives us a movie... Which is a display your world for business. Seventeen for second ad for the their new, new VR goggles. Now on sale. Once you're freed from your mobile, the net opens up in front of your eyes. Because that's what they play on. It's they're all done through VR. Um, so this one is pretty much it's just going to go through. Just to show you, this is what they thought was good in, like, when did this game come out? Like, 2006, 2007? Um, it features a standard 1280 by 1024 So they didn't even think we would be at 1080p. Or they're not at 1080p by yet, because that's what's good. Um, and that it would be $420. And it's the standard equipment for to play the world. Um... Then there is more outdoor introverts. It's basically this one goes over. I don't know if people. I don't know if you want me to go through all the new segments because it goes through a lot. But this one was going to saying that an introvert was someone who just stayed in line and spent the whole day playing the game. However, now there's something called outdoor introverts with the thing of mobile VR units and everything that you have people playing the game while going to a coffee shop and that while they're outside, they're still introverted because you're not interacting with anyone. So this one is John Doe, 20 year old college student, says nothing I do in the world, real world feels real. It's so much more satisfying to complete a quest with your friends than to gather online. And that's it. And it goes through a whole little days, news segment. When thought of an online junkie, they envisioned someone locked in their room, glued to their computer 24 hours a day. But today, due to radical improvements in mobile devices, network games can be enjoyed outside and have given rise to a whole new breed of online junkies. So, I think I'll summarize the ones that aren't about 
uh, Crimson Versus. It's an extra game telling you that sound. Player Killers and Player Killed. There's no movies. And this basically goes off of that you have the environment of people in the world that are all about wanting to PK people and saying that it's a problem. And then you have people that just killing out PKs. And it's just becoming a big problem of basically a, the whole game's pretty much a PvP server on WoW. And this one's just showing you that there's 12 million, 12 million people playing the world. The World 2 has sold 12 million copies worldwide, and other products include The World, Fate Must Die, Person, and Kuru Kuru. Uh, Michi, which I think is the only time we ever hear about that. But yeah, that's just saying how many people are playing the world and Cyber Connect. Um, well, we got a movie on this, so let's do this. The supersonic passenger jet, ASST, which can attain speeds of over Mach 3, has been officially commissioned. As a result, the amount of time it takes to fly from Tokyo to New York has been shortened from 14 hours to just 4 hours. So it's, just, it's a lot of world building, and you think, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, we don't have games now that does this much world building for a game. Do, 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 do. The Ministry of Health and Labor and Welfare announced today that according to the latest Japanese census, the number of uniquest, whatever, families have surpassed 70 thing, uh, the, is the Latin base of present everywhere. Oh, uh, it's just about people being connected to the computers. Okay. Uh, virtual academies. Hey, look! Distance learning! Uh, GPS systems, and 50% of parents want to microchip their children. Okay. So this is about space station. With the participation of Japan and many other countries, the International Space Station, slated for completion in 2017, is nearly done. As large as a soccer stadium, this fully manned facility will be used for various types of research in a deep space environment. But see, like, this has nothing to do with the game, but yet builds up the whole world around it. Oh, look, they're blaming video games for violence. World meeting on global warning. Five Japanese players to play in the major leagues. Death by gaming a worldwide epidemic. Incidents of players dying from playing online video games for too long are increasing around the world. In most cases, players die from heart attack due to extreme exhaustion after playing a game for 30 hours straight. One college student was enjoying a game over an internet cafe when he suddenly collapsed. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Okay, but this shit actually happened! It was, um, I think in India or China, there was some guy who was playing for playing League of Legends for like 38 hours, and that they all, that his friends only noticed because he stopped moving his character in game. There's also been incidents of player from doing too much excitement after losing an arena match, placing great focus on the problem of an online gaming addiction. Uh, movie? But I mean, like, it's... Administration Act it's like 17 vote seconds of, of just Meaning little world building. The numbering system seems to be inevitable. As a result, the process of converting to an electronic government has overcome its final hurdle. Uh, deleting data. Ooh, stuff on CC Corp. After having suffered a huge fire in 2015, CyberConnect Japan's new home office has now been completed. Subsequent investigations determined that a spark from electrical equipment led to the blaze two years earlier, resulting in multiple deaths and injuries. It was discovered that the three armed youths who were responsible for the recent school riot were devoted online gamers. Following this discovery, public criticism of online games increased sharply.
I know, because this game was actually developed by a company called CyberConnect, and they made themselves the bad guys. Another accident. Uh, ooh, okay. Early this morning, four employees at CyberConnect Japan, here fire forward to a CC Corp, suffered electronic shocks while working on the construction of a company construct the company server, and we promptly rushed to the hospital. All four were unconscious and in critical condition, CC Corp commented. We are still searching for the cause of this tra a tragic accident. Similar in incidents occurred seven years ago when a number of employees monitoring a server were rendered unconscious. At this time, CC Corp was severely admonished, um, admonished, admonished, whatever, for its lack of safety protocols. As a result, is introduce a TSN system into their headquarters but accidents occur continue to occur. Two years ago, CC headquarters touched a huge fire in which several of the employees were killed. Their, cons their constant accidents are prompted questions about the company's intentions regarding the safety of the workplace. And then they're like, um, the tri-surveillance network system is three different AIs are set aside inside the company's network to monitor. It's designed to prevent information leaks, improper network usage, and company-wide system pro problems developed in two, uh, 2010 by the International Electronic General Technology Research Center. In a way, they're kind of building up the world, but also saying like the whole fire, the whole accident seven years ago goes into the whole thing of the first game and everything like that. Now this is important because you would just gloss over this, but it tells you about a three different AIs that are set into a game. We we learn that the triage or the Azure kite whatever is one of those AIs. But like that just builds it up more. Okay, topics. Oh my god, online Jack! Um, welcome to Online Jack, the no hold barred information program that, prog that brings you the hottest topics. Our star reporter, Salvador Ahara, will bring you the dirt that you want to know, and this week's target is Dull Syndrome. This is Salvador Ahara's Online Jack. We investigate the hottest controversies in today's news. I mean, it's four minutes. Show. Do you guys want to watch Welcome this for four minutes? It's in, like a little news okay, segment. Get ready, all you netizens out there. Today's Jack Target is Doll Syndrome. Have you heard of it? It's the mystery illness that's spreading like wildfire among grade schoolers. It causes verbal and mental defects that leave victims non-responsive. That's right. This disease turns children into lifeless dolls. Oh, no! But we'll fight back. To combat this earth-shattering crisis, we at Online Jack started an investigation. I, Salvador Ihara, will save the world! That did not it's translate well to the a HD version, just saying. Illness. Some scientists tell us the cause is endocrine disrupting chemicals, but what I want to showcase here is this book. Internet games are turning our kids into dolls. A warning about doll syndrome. Taichiro Sugai, a professor from Takeuma University, wrote the book and lives here. According to his book, doll syndrome's root cause is none other than online games. Online games, famous games such as the world, perhaps. I love them too, but he says that online games and their more than 12 million participants all living out their virtual dreams are the cause. You'll remember that several years ago, the world game was found to be responsible for players being put into a coma. Could it be that it's also causing the dreaded doll syndrome? Are these online games nothing but a blight upon our society? If the professor feels that way, then let's see what he has to say. Let us begin the interview. What do you want? You know how late it is. Hey there, I'm the host of Online Jack, Salvador Ihara. I have a few questions about your book, Online Games Are Turning Our Kids Into Dolls, A Warning About Doll Syndrome. Hmm. Huh. Ah, can you believe this guy? Open up, Professor Sugai. We want to talk to you. You've just come to make fun of my book, haven't you? Get away from here! If you don't explain yourself on camera, sir, you'll make yourself look even more suspicious. I don't have to explain myself. All I did was publish the results of my own independent research. Ha, you say independent research. But isn't it true that your sources themselves are questionable? Not as questionable as you! Well then, prove to us that your sources are credible! If you do, we won't bother you anymore, Professor. Go! Give me a break. Who would believe you? 
And another thing, I'm an associate professor. Okay. I love Online Jack. <laughs> Online Jack, well, the voice we of Cosmo from Fairly Odd Parents. Professor Sugai, but to follow our own independent research, we went undercover into the very elementary school that Sugai was investigating. This is the You can hear it to a point. You can hear it to a point. His study on doll syndrome. Is a killer disease stalking the children of this ordinary elementary school? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hey there, boys and girls. There's no need to fear. Salvador Ihara is here. Did he really just oh, We're in the middle of class. Oh, what is this vision? Did he just, just walk in? Presents. Hello, Señorita. You and I can save the world. Oh my god. Viva Salvador. Oh, yeah, he literally just walked into a school. Here we are in the teacher's lounge. I haven't been to one of these since the days when I used to peep under girls' skirts. If you want to film in here, you need to get permission first. But the whole purpose of the show is it's undercover. <laughs> you entertainment people have no decency. You're so beautiful when you're angry. <laughs> Stop that. What are you investigating? Doll syndrome. Miss Michiru Tajima, teacher of fourth grade class <gasps> one. <laughs> Oh, we have to wait for part two. Look, Online Jack, I think, is one of the best things that came out of just the world building. Well, that's it of news capture. Uh, movie player, I think this is cutscenes? Yes, no. So, it's a title demo. Okay. Oh god, I drank that soda too fast. Now we have the community form. Uh, Crimson Virtues is a card game that I never played. But I mean, like, they go so in-depth in this game. I mean, they literally have replies, characters, everything. And you even see, sometimes see some of these characters in-game. But uh, we really don't care about Crimson Versus. At least not now. I mean, they're pretty much like, oh, how do you play this game? They're like, the game's shut down. We can't play it. That's, okay. Okay, um, Akapelu. Let's do the world first. Cause we can get area worlds and stuff. Um, I miss R1. Okay. So, love the new things and is, loving new things is part of human nature, but so is loving old things. I want to go back to the area again with my main character that I put my spirit into making. I want to play with my dear companion. The images of the dresses CC head corpse on the news, toasted server standing there with despair. The digital uh, petitions were not answered as they announced that the resignation of bringing back the world R1. Uh, however, listen to this, even though old warm-hearted me still wants to go back, I hope the CC guys will do. Other people are like, I want them too. It's not that they don't hate the second version, it's just they have more memories of R1. Um, was R1 really that great? From Renji over here, isn't everyone exaggerating graphically? R2 is way better, the game system is better too. I think R2 wins hand down. But if you're saying it's really that great, did you play it, Renji? Is this like a... I know what this is. This is the Blizzard forms and people asking for WoW Classic. <laughs> do you really like how do I put it? It doesn't matter. Then it's just an argument online. Um, there's even some of these that uh, we can um, reply to. Oh god. Okay, so I heard this thing to a friend. It was uh, really true that the world was created based on the epic poem Epitaph of, Epitaph of Twilight. Also, if this is true, what is that on the official page? Does anyone here know anything about it? I believe it's true, as though CC Corp won't officially admit it, though. I heard that the Epitaph of Twilight was a fantasy-style story about a search for a dragon, but the main background for the story is just a bunch of guys fighting each other. The previous version of the world was definitely most based around the poem. Uh, it said that the words written on an altar in Hulgrans are proof of that. That's the cathedral where we just 
died at. With regard with regard to World 2, the two event planners structured the game from scratch while incorporating the atmosphere with R1 as much as possible. Excuse me, but can you tell me my source? Uh, CC Corp's easy, and so this is how I think of it. Fragment is based on an epitaph of Twilight. The R1, the original world, which is R1, was based on epitaph of Twilight. The R2 is CC's original scenario, basically partially bar uh, based on the second game. Uh, the electronic magazine has insider information. I figured it would be a minus advertising. I underestimated them. Do you need to be a gold member of the fan club to get in? But you need to have $30 cash in your cyber thing, so care carefully for your register. Um, wasn't there a guild collecting the Epitaph of Twilight and the Twilight Keys? I wonder if that guild is still active. Okay. Killer Whale! Shout out to the Twilight Brigade. That was the whole point of it. Was that they were looking for the Epitaph of Twilight and the Seven? Was it Seven Twilight Keys? In which that they wanted to learn the truth of the world. It was a whole thing of saying that if you collected the set, if you collected the Twilight Keys and went to the places that existed in the original world and R2, that you can learn the secret of the world. This is starting to look more and more like a bad rumor board. Um, Apple Star that we actually can see in game because I've seen them multiple times and traded with them. It was the Twilight Brigade. Now they mentioned I haven't heard about them lately either. They used to be so active. I wonder what happened. Uh, the guild itself is no longer around. It just seems to fall apart when their leader disappeared. But I heard the leader recently returned to the world. I guess the former members of the guild are trying to get active again too. I mistakenly used a rare serrated edge nickel coin I brought on an auction to buy a rice ball. Good evening, this is W Rice. What does that have to do with the discussion, Rice? Well, really, I wonder if the rumor board is really going to get busy again. If this is if if it gets to be what it used to be, I'll be posting there too. Bring on the Twilight Brigade! Sorry for the new big question, but what exactly is the epitaph of Twilight and the Twilight Keys section? Um business. This is a, well, please forgive my presumption, but let me try to explain. The Epitaph of Twilight is a poem about that was posted on the internet for free. People say that the world is based on it, but CC Corp denies it. The person who wrote the poem is dead now, and there's no longer see the website in which it originally posted. The poem itself has been scattered as well. The Twilight Keys is a legendary item that is said to grant the players wishes of whoever is lucky enough to find it. Lots of players have been looking for it since the days of Fragment. Okay, Fragment, was that the spin-off game that we never got in the West? Despite the fact that an extremely large number of people are looking for it, there are no reports of anyone that have actually seen it later. Lately, most people are starting to think it's an urban legend, and the Twilight Guild was dedicated to finding something that doesn't exist. Okay. I'm looking for an alm shell. I just started, so I don't have much money. I'm looking to get one from some monsters and treasure chests. Uh, must be tough just getting started. Let me think. Go to the area below and break the barrels. I think you can find some. Though you don't have money, be brave and you'll do fine. Good luck. It's Delta Buzzing Rat's puzzle. And then we get one to go find alm shells. Exists of a PS game. Oh my god, someone said my two cents. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about the PKs. The PK system was around since the days of Fragment, and until it was abolished in the middle days of the world R1, it was a system that made the world really unique. When the PKs were abolished, the players had protested each of the root towns, and fans demanded that PKs were brought back. Now in the world 2, the PK system has been brought back, and it has a good and bad, but the pr players generally welcomed it at first. But lately, it's been growing to a number of people who call for it to be abolished again in the outside world too. People are starting to talk about whether it's morally correct to have a game where people can kill each other. So considering all these things, I have a question. Does the world really need PKs? Please give your detailed answers. The purpose of this thread is to consider is not to criticize PKing. Please don't flame or troll. Thank you. Is that the feeling person? Yes. Why don't you just put that in your first pose? And this is just going through exactly what uh, Miss Cappuccino said was that it is just pretty much a giant circle jerk of the PK systems are good, the PK system is bad, you need it, you don't need it. Um, I bl is it Acapello the art form? Um, news, this goes off of everything that we just read. 
Um, people are like, um, this is the headset we watch the news things. This is a microchip for um, talking about the news story about implanting. They're thinking about adding an age restriction for games that are even online. Uh, scary things such as the online junkies. So these are just pretty much for uh, the common sections of. Do, 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 do. It's a common sections of news stories. That's basically all it is. Rumors is good because it's just. Please read rumor board. Good evening. It's not a say Mr. Bobby. Whatever. Recently, there's been increasing numbers of people who are failing to uphold the local rules. Um, unlike other boards, there are several rules that are consistently in effect. Before you post these, please make sure you read them. There are four types of thread when making a thread. It's sightings or encounters. Please use this when describing something you see and experience yourself. If it's something you've heard, please deteriorate to that type of thread between online and offline. Online rumor is something that relates to an online setting. Offline is that general is just pretty much just doesn't fall in that. Um... Always greet your posters with good evening. There's no reason, but it's an old tradition. Based on the nature of this board, there will always be a discussion about how things are not normally be considered as common sense. However, no matter how improbable you may think a post is, do not mock... Oh, it's just pretty standard forms. Okay, so I tried looking up the latest rumors. If you're interested, here they are. There's the little girl in the hall. Turning, uh, tuning fork and triage. If you go to the cathedral at 12 a.m. exactly, you will hear a girl crying. Those who hear the girl will fall into a coma after a week. But apparently, if you talk to five people within a week about your experience, you'll be spared from the coma. Again, these are rumors that a girl wearing something like a white nightgown it will sometimes appear before your eyes. Uh, if you hear a sound like a tuning fork in the area, you will fall into a coma. Of course, if this were true, I doubt anyone who heard the sound would be around to start the rumor. People who come across this triple clawed twin blade in the game, of course, will fall in coma in real life. These people gain a triangular shaped wound while they're in coma, but that's just full of rumors lately. I've heard stories along those lines. It's pretty scary. So basically, this is the one that Sheena was talking about. The tuning fork is the ding sound that we heard before he got data drained. Or what Kayla said was a skeeth. And then Triage is the Azure Kite guy we saw. Urban legend. A friend, a friend of a friend told me that. Yeah, I've already heard that before. Rumors are that feel real, even though they seem to have no factual basis. Rumors that have come true and like they spread. Uh, rumors are logically impossible, yet become increasingly easy to believe the more you think about them. Half of the rumors of this board are rumors of that sort, urban legends. Uh, if you have time, please lend your ears to adult analysts. If you have too much time, please write a response. I'm sure he would be thrilled. So this is just basically going over what exactly is an urban legend. Okay, uh, Forest of Pain. I got this. Uh, hello and good evening. Does anyone know about the conditions to activate the world quest, the Forest of Pain? I've completed all the quests except for the Forest of Pain. Are there any conditions in order to activate the quest? The quest can't be played right now. The entire area is currently sealed off. Even if you have the words needed, I doubt you'll get transported there. You'll be brave if you want to challenge the Forest of Pain. Okay, so this is just talking about something that was in the anime and explaining why it's not here. And it does eventually get re uh, introduced. I think it's like 99 levels of hell. It's pretty much what it is. It's just increasingly harder and harder stuff and bosses. Uh, looking for Tan. And this is um, Tan was someone, a character from Roots that was a store manager in guild shops. He, if you needed an item or anything, you went to Tan. That's pretty much it. Uh, Archipelago. This is the graphics forms. La -da -da -da. And you see, we have all of these little question marks, which means there's actions to them. But with that is, we get wallpapers. And it's nice because I like. I kind of wish it's like someone's like, "Hey, we we want people to make characters on this game." Some of these are really nice, and then really other ones are like really shitty. But it's just, just the fact that they even went through a whole section of creating fan art for their own game. 
Like, I thought, I thought uh, I'd like trying to play soccer with a chim chimp. And that is that whole thing. And then people are like, oh, it's nice. Um, there was this person. Oh, this one's cool. Because this one goes through reasons why there's Haseo fan art. Uh, the other day, my character, she called one half, by the way, was PK'd. But then what happened? Someone in the in black and red came to help or save me. He was incredibly strong and took out the PKers like it was nothing. But he didn't bring me back to life. So I had no idea if he really showed up there just to save me or not. Has anyone seen him? Here's a picture of what he looks like. Okay, this one's actually going to be really fun to raid. Nope, never seen anyone like him, but I would love to meet him. Do you know, remember the words in the area where you met him? I don't suppose I can meet him if I went and stake out there, right? But, you know, I just realized there's a ton of people dressed in black and red in the world. What? Is this a joke? Are you sure you weren't dreaming? Make sure you get some decent sleep now and again. I saw him too. A guy in black and red, he kind of looked like this. An alien. Oh my god. Um... Salt. So you never met him. That's too bad. I'm afraid I don't remember the words. I just kind of put them in randomly. And you're right. There's a lot of people dressed like that. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's a joke. LOL. Lately, I've been having the unable to distinguish between the world and reality. And the person who drew that is, uh... You really saw him. They're like, wait, if you really looked like that, I wouldn't have any blood. Um... Oh my god. Exotic guy. I love how there's, like, just flowers coming out of, like, his crotch real area. Uh, this is the same reason I also went off searching for an interesting person the other day, and then I happened to come across him, a guy in black and red. I was turning a corner in Makonu when it suddenly a shadow looming and ran over s and ran r right into its owner. When I looked up, all I could see was his incredibly thick chest. He said sorry, but I couldn't see his face because of his damn chest. And here I thought I was going to fall in love. I thought a light Indian breeze was going to blow from underneath his arm. Truly a bittersweet experience. Anyway, that's why I'm off to search for an interesting person again. And it's just talking about the other one. And then, um... They were talking about that one, and then you got this one, which is, Are you sure this isn't Haseo, the Terror of Death? I can't tell for sure because how deformed he looks in the picture. So, still, I think it's probably the Terror of Death. Did he ask you anything like, do you know about Triads or something like that? I love, Haseo, I love how Haseo just turned into an internet meme. It is that. It's a beautiful friendship. Oh, him and Chimchimps. Okay. Uh, refreshing Breeze. Hey, Salt made some pictures. No subject. Oh my god. Hello! My name is Matsu from, T from Kyoto. I'm a student. Right now, I study English, so I log into US server. I enjoy making many American friends. I am grateful for your bulletin board. Thank you for having me. Uh... Very nice guy. Walnuts cracked open Rodriguez. I'm scared, but it's kind of cool. No, wait. Definitely scary. Oh, that's kind of mean. Okay, so that, I believe, is everything on the community form. Okay. Accessories. And what's good about that is now all those wallpapers... I mean, you gotta have yourself as... You have to have your own, like... Okay, so we're gonna save. God, 47 minutes and we're barely out of the tutorial. Now you're like, okay, that's enough world building. We can play the game right. You can play the game now. Nope, there's still more stuff we can look at. Uh, the official world, which is pretty much. Oh, God. This is the entire lore of the game. Like, this is the Genesis of Grief. It's just so much that goes into the beast statues and everything, and the grunties. I make mean, Penguin a presence in Path of Evil. I have never taken the time to read these. Um, this goes over the races of what you can create. 
And it's like, oh, well, you can play a human or you can play a beast. And then there's the non-playable characters, which is just like the Grunties, the Chim Chims, the Elves. Oh my god, no. Go back to the official site. This doesn't update a lot. Um, factions. Threat. Oh god, there's stuff, stuff here. And these just go over the teams. Like, I call them goblins or ogres. And they're like, there's demons and sea monsters. And these are just the names of the types of monsters we'll face. And just gives you a pretty much oversight of, like, background story of characters. And then it tells you jobs. Like, twin bits have high agility attacks with two swords. And pretty much that's all it does. It just tells you the different jobs. So as you have people come in, you can know what they are. But it's pretty simplified. Then there's... Oh my god. No, I went... I went down game. Thank you. Official forms. If I don't remember... Oh god, there's so much. Uh, someone's like, Oh, I made my map go away. I can't go into an area. Monster Shield of Vision. Acquired World Sacred, Warm Croaking, Black Corins, Pure Bread, Ocean, Blue Cloud, and Cassiopeia. Oh god, hold on. Um, so this just basically gave me a bunch of spots that, or area words. Not uh, good luck. Maybe I can find a post that explains them. Uh, with that level, you should be doing a good selection with the following words. And he's looking for stuff around this level, and they're like, "Oh, this is a good uh, this is good for um, a challenge and for leveling." Why are in a group? Black cat. They're looking for a co-op partner. Just learning the dark guy PK'd me. Talking about the Chim Chims. Pretty much this is just stuff talking about stuff in the game. Uh, we're just clearing so this way. We don't need to see it. It's a lot of stuff that goes in. Like this one talks about, um, I used to be known as the 100 Man Killer as well as the 100 Man Healer. But it's nothing. Just, just people talking about their characters and stuff like that. Sometimes we'll see them in game, but it really doesn't matter much. It's not like world building or anything. It's just one character that you maybe might run into. But more importantly, it's like, oh, what happened? What was the last thing we saw? It's like, oh, yeah, he got data drained. What's going on? Why is my equipment different? Reading all that kind of really did mess up the. Oh my god, I love how it's like, hey, we gave you so much stuff to read, so maybe it took you so long to read it that we're going to show you what happened. What the? Uh, I'm back at level one? What about my items? My member list? My equipment? <sighs> gone. It's all gone. My whole character has been completely reformatted. Hey, did you see that guy just now? With the really weird arm? <laughs> totally. Arm? I forgot. Did Ovan have the arm and roots? Ovan? He would know something about this. Okay, sometimes your next destination is indicated. Click this. Okay, so it's just telling me. Like, see, this is Tress. We saw this guy on the forums talking. Sagittarius. Trippius. Um. Senian. Oh! Hold on! It's one half! We read a bunch of her forum posts. Hey, are you the guy in black and red? Didn't you take care of this? See? We read the forum post and she goes, didn't you take care of those PKers who were after me before? It's like, yes, I was. And they're like, 
it was an I death throat with a spiky tail. It was like, oh yeah, my player got reset. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, do you know what that guy's job was? I don't think I've seen a design like that. I didn't look that closely. I saw him head towards the harbor. Maybe I'll go get a closer look. <sighs> I missed the motorcycle already. Making my way around town, looking for a guy with one arm. Do do do. Before we go there, we don't see Ovon. Oh my God, that player looks really hot. <laughs> really? That's all you care about. I thought he looked kind of creepy. So you like guys that look like that? Where'd he go? Uh, I think he went down that alley. Thank you, we just kind of watched them. The green ports are how you get around the city. Do we have to click them first? Oh. We'll, we'll have to find out later time. Hi, Senyan. Uh, okay. those player killers. Hi, Birdo. Huh. It's not much of a challenge when they're so pathetically weak. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Fighting those noobs is making us all rusty. That rogue that we fought the last time? He really wasn't that bad. Um, you mean we're going after him next? Hell yeah. There is no way in hell. I can back down after what happened last time. E yes, ma'am. <sighs> Wait, what the hell am I hiding for? <laughs> Why do I have to hide from bastards like them? It's pathetic. I love how he even questioned why he's hiding. But, uh, Oman wasn't there. You're kidding! What the hell's going on? Ah! Yaspard, are you okay? Like, was it Ovon's plan to show up and disappear, all for him to meet Syllabus and Gaspard? I mean, Ovon always worked that way. Creepy what bastard. Happened? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, was hey, never a Syllabus are fan. You a new player? Gaspard, on the You're other hand, noob. He was always oh. so nice. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I guess I must have scared you, huh? Hell no. I'm not a noob. I'm the terror of death. Terror of what? What? Wait, are, are you talking about the famous PKK? I love how the mouse don't move. You? And they can get away oh, with it by saying you're playing a video you're a game. Player killer, killer. I knew I'd heard about him somewhere before, but I'm pretty sure the player's name was Haseyo. Are you sure? Definitely. Yep. <laughs> hey, look. It's me. I'm the real PKK Haseyo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but you'll have to gain more levels before you can say anything like that. What? Hey. If you're a noob, we'll be happy to teach you the basics of this game. Actually, <laughs> Syllabus and I are part of the noob support guild called Canard. I love Canard. Noob support guild? It's a guild that teaches noobs all they need to know to become top players. We're actually pretty famous, you know. I love how it goes oh, from yeah. a noob guild to I the main to guild of the game. First. Here. I also love how Solbus and Gaspar just doesn't take an answer. Member addresses no. are an address system. 
Oh, man. Just for communicating it's just with your my friends luck to get world. mixed up with when a bunch of weirdos. Party, check their status I even lost sight of Ovon. I like the clipping of his hair. Anyway, right now, I've got to level back up to become the terror of death. Well, I guess I'll just hang out with them for a little while longer. Look, it doesn't mean that they'll join just because you invite them to. Actually, it does. Um, were you listening to me? Yeah, I was listening. You were? Really? Yes, really. Anyway, come on. You're gonna teach me the basics, right? So hurry up and let's move on to the next lesson. Well, okay, then let's go to an area. Now, invite us into your party and we'll go find the Chaos Gate. I, I didn't invite you. I think you guys, I can get there if I use a warp point. Yes, yes we can. Instead, let's run. Uh, strategy, free will. Okay, um, hold on, uh, skills. Uh, inflicts poison, attack. Yeah. I didn't know if uh, Gaspard can heal yet. I, if I remember correctly, anyone can learn anything. Oh, hi there, Tripius. That's all of the news. CC Corp must be up to something. Okay. Now this is a trait system, which is pretty cool. This is how you mostly get everything I want in the game. I am um, when I was younger and I played this with uh, Kayla. I always got up early, and I always wanted to play this game, and I always had to wait for her to start playing the story. So I would sit there for hours, just going in and out of the world to trade with people to get better gear. She doesn't have any. Hey, just saying, even all those years ago, I still waited for you. I got... La da 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 da. Climbing stairs. Climbing some more. This kind of looks like that one built. The one. Do you know what this looks like? The one smash stage. Like Epona's Bridge or whatnot. Which is funny because you always meet to like the same five characters. This is the Chaos Gate. I know that. Okay, well then. Delta peaceful leading freedom. That should... Thank you. Quasar, Ingrid, Mikatan, Gates, and Kazuki. Okay. Uh, we don't... Sh yeah, we'll save. No, we don't. We just ran around. Warp menu, bookmark. Uh, area where you're supposed to inform by Apple Star, acquire ohm shells by breaking the barrels. Area words of perfect area level 10 players. And this is for level... Yes, okay. I always hated these ones because they're so Attention, long. Attention! Bringing one noob to the dungeon! Repeat! Bringing one noob to the dungeon! I told you that I'm not a noob! I know, I know. You're really the terror of death, right? I can understand you wanting to roleplay something like that, but I'm not really sure if you should do terror of death, you know? Player killers are going to come after you, and it'll definitely be rough for you. Hey, just shut up and listen! So you're saying you're really the PKK Haseo, the terror of death? And when you logged in, your level went down from 133 to 1? No way! I've never heard of a bug quite like that! Wow! I'm not lying! Okay, but still... Gaspard, that's what he's role-playing. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> that's some really complicated oh character God. background. It's they not don't believe you. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. We'll accept your character concept. Oh Just relax God. and come with us. Will you please listen to me already? I like Gaspard a lot more than Solbus. Like, Solbus is like, all right. Sure you are. As far as like, oh, I know you are, but let's just be friends. 
The enemy has been spotted. God bless you, Gaspard. Okay. Maybe we should start by telling you about the skill trigger. I already know about that. They really but don't. How do you know? You're just a noob. Oh my god. No, I'm not. Uh. Why don't we give it a shot? <laughs> okay. Come on, Haseo. Let's go fight the monsters. Don't forget to use the skill trigger, okay? Oh my god. I love that there's two tutorials for the game. I think even I can win. Die! Oh! Shadow Flash! No! My favorite thing! <laughs> Knocking them into the power! Okay, I have to use Skull Trigger. Shadow Flash! Oh, wait, I can't hold it down! We did it! Yes! Way to go! Yeah, looks like you can use the Skill Trigger. I just can't believe that you're a oh, new. <laughs> I told you, I'm not... Okay, okay. Let's move on. Will you two just listen to me? No, they won't. Um, uh, nope. Uh, this is the map. Okay. But yeah, so this is like, I don't get paid enough to deal with these characters' backstories. Let's get them! Uh, um, Lo, did I tell you that? <laughs> Stop! I want to knock them! Favorite thing is knocking them into the thing. Voices still seem really loud. I don't know if it's the fact that he like keeps going, making those god awful gaw sounds and uh, die. Uh, wrong way. Ooh, more ogres. Let's get going! Ah, uh, it wasn't a surprise attack. Die! 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 Shadow so Flash! Dumb. Die! That was nothing. I hope you like those the, that string of things, because that's literally all I get until I get um a Buster Blade. It, uh, die and the ga 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 sounds. That's it. There's nothing I can do. Oh, cool! We got a tornado. Slow. Shadow flash. Faster! I didn't tell you to connect me. We're connecting. What those combos? Okay. Uh, chip gems. Go, okay, call. Yes, I know. We need chimp spheres. We need them for part of the dungeon. Oh, it's a big one. No, I'm not. Stop. I want to kick the chimp. Okay, they did it. We actually need these for stuffs. So. We're just going to sit here. Maybe get up to 30. You need no. You also need them for like doors and stuff. And then there's Mecha Grunty. Yeah, that should be thirty. Oh, I can't leave it at thirty-three. That's just an awful number. Thirty-six, on the other hand, is nine. So we're good with that. Thirty-five. Yes. Mecha Grunty is amazing. I 
I just wish there was a way to get like the PS4 prompts on here because it was a PS2 game, and it's just weird seeing the uh, Xbox prompts. There's another enemy! I love you, well, Gaspard. Well, now that you know how to use the skill trigger, let's learn about Rengeki. I already know about... Uh, okay, then let's go and fight them! I'll tell you the timing to execute it, so make sure you use it. Oh my god. Ah, listen to me, damn it! Don't worry, we're listening, all right. Yeah, right. First strike! Oh, every time that if you did that and you're that close, you would automatically get attacked. That was just overkill and a waste of SP. Well, that's that, I guess. I love how they've run a new guild, but yet they're only level five. Wow! Way to go, Haseo! Nice! I was so bad when I was a noob. You're level four! I you. I'm not yeah, no one would think you're a noob with your- Hey, come on! Let's keep going! Are you even hearing anything I'm saying to you? Guys, you're level four and five! Are you really that much different than me? What, you did one dungeon, but you have a guild and everything? Yes, there's another floor. But let me heal first. Let's go to the beast. Let's go to the beast. Uh, Kun owns the guild? But still, they're helping people, but they're level four. In wild terms, you're still in the starter zone. Do you know about awakening? Okay, this I don't remember. No, I don't. See? <laughs> I knew that you were a noob. Uh, hey! Now, now, Haseo. We'll tell you all about them, so don't scowl, okay? Yeah. I actually forget what awakenings so, are. What is this awakening thing you were talking about? Well, it's a special attack that you- Oh my god, it's a morale system. Never mind. I take it back. No. Don't target. There Let's we go. Let's get him! Awakening. You can use it okay. when the morale. Press X. Got it. Here it comes! Wow, that's bright! Okay. I'll do what I can! <laughs> Shadow Flash! <laughs> Zon Rom! <laughs> I love using this technique. You just got one step closer. To the enemies get stronger as we go deeper. So let's... Okay. Ah! But I love how that the explanation that he doesn't know about Awakenings I is that it's a party won. system exclusive and Haseo never grouped up with anyone. So, like, it makes sense why he doesn't know. These are trim doors. And you need to pay to open them. Which is why we grinded up a couple. <laughs> oh, that's supposed to be a surprise attack. Shadow Flash! Let's keep it up! Good for you. Okay. Now these people, I don't. don't move the camera. There First strike! Surprise attack! I think I'm gonna hear this in my sleep. Yes, we are doing great with the combos. Another chim door. Hey, um, there's two ways we can go. Oh, trap chest! Cool. Trap chests are fun. Simple necklace, breakable object, health drink. Trap chests are cool. 
It basically gives you a button prompts to do in like three seconds. Oh my god, the prompts are off! Ah! Oh my god! No. Okay. I, I swear I could have done that if I knew the prompts for an Xbox One controller. Hold on, I think I physically have to Google what the Xbox controller thing says. I don't play computer games with a controller. Xbox controller. Images. Okay, so it is. Triangle equals Y. Square equals X. X equals A. Circle equals B. Holy hell. Hi, ogres. I, I, I want the surprise attack. There we go. Let's get him! It's just extra damage. Does dodge really do anything? I mean, I put that up, and I was taking three damage either way. Oh, uh, I guess I didn't do it right. That was nothing. Not good. Oops, I got too close. Oh well. Root Cruise! Shadow Flash! Oh my god, lock into someone else! Well, that's that, I guess. Wait, we got an item, hold on. Uh, triangle, equipment. Cool. Map wise. I don't even know if we're going the right way. Apparently, we're going the right way. Hey, um, do you guys know anything about Tri Edge? Tri Edge? No, what's that? Some kind of event monster or something? It's the screen name of a PK. Never heard of him. Me neither. Okay, well, if that's the way we're supposed to go, let's go back. I love how they have, like, no SP, and then I'm like, I just don't use skills. Making my way downtown, walking through the dungeons, trying to find things to do. What'd you say? Silas! I cannot see what you guys are talking about when you run so far behind me. Dead end. Then there was a resolution door I thought we were supposed to open. But apparently we went the right way. Okay, this better be good for two chim doors. It's First just strike! It's just a battle. Gale blade. Shadow flash. That was nothing. Oh my god, XP. Was that literally everything? Oh my god, it literally was just a fight. You made me pay ten chimps for a fight. I'll walk all the way back. Uh, yeah, it's down. Down and to the left. up here. Is this going to be the beast? Are we at the beast statue or are they going to make us go through a whole nother floor? I really hope it's not another floor. These levels are so long. Oh, thank god. Music change.
This is a statue of Fulset, the god of law in the world's backstory, but we just call it the Beast Statue. And there is the treasure offering. See? Go on and open it, Haseo. Sorry about that, I stretched my legs. I didn't realize it was 8 o'clock. Uh, when the guy go? Hello hey, there, Bruno. Hey, Been a while, huh? They're... they're from Kestrel. Huh? What? Hey, who are these guys? Famous player killers. What the... not now. Well, well. Looks like you haven't been keeping up since the last time we met. It took me a little while to recognize that you were really the terror of death. What? He's real? You're really, really the terror of death? How amazing. I mean, what a coincidence running into you here. I tell you, it has to be destiny. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, right, moron. Give me a break. Someone sent me an anonymous email. So I decided to come and have some fun. Yeah, it was all on doing. No surprise there. Well, for starters, how about I love you? To death! I don't really know what's going on. But, but, but please, no violence. <laughs> Gaspard. That noise. He got in my way. Ah, oh, hell. What is this? Just what the hell is going on here? What's happening? Ah, ah, ah. Haseo! Run! Are you scared? Man, I just love that expression, you know what I mean? God, there is nothing like PK. Wait a minute. What the... something is... something is starting to... it's... it's growing. Hold it. Oh! <laughs> Here's the fan service bunny girl looking type character. You guys look like... you're having fun. <laughs> I love how they brought... I love how they brought pretty cutscenes just to show off the fan service that is Pi. Who the hell are you? You want to be killed too? Are you sure you want to do that? <sighs> the guild that you PKers hate the most might be heading this way as we speak. Moon Tree? I can't believe it. You tipped them off, you bitch! Maybe I did. Hey! What are we gonna do? Fighting them now is only gonna bring more problems. You! I won't forget this! What a silly girl. Don't you realize that I just saved you? Foreshadowing. Um... Yeah. Thanks a lot for saving us. Yeah, she doesn't care about you. You're Haseo. I don't recall telling anyone like you my name. Okay, I'd like to point out that simply hovering over a character in the world shows me their name and I can talk to them and see what's in their inventory that they're willing to trade. So it's very believable that I could that she could just target over me and see my name. Just saying. 
You're an unruly child, just like I heard you were. What are you, a groupie? Nice try, but I'm not interested in brats. Well, I'm glad, because I don't have any interest in old hags. What? Old hag? Only an old person like you would use such an outdated <laughs> phrase like unruly <laughs> child. Sorry. Damn brat. Hato. I'll have you know that I'm... You're... <sighs> I'll come back another time. As you wish. Shh. Let me just give you one warning. Haseo, your character hides something. There is a dangerous power inside Which is going to the whole thing of saving power? Bordeaux and him clutching his stomach. Have you ever had the feeling like there was something strange growing inside your character? See, the thing is, I have a problem with saying that I liked Pi because if you were like, oh, well, it's fan service. And it's like, no, I liked Pi because she didn't give a shit. She didn't give a shit who you were. She didn't give a shit what level you were. She had one person she loved and she would do anything for that. It's like the whole Harley thing. And I think that's what it is. Is that she's just so infatuated with this one person. And she's just so much of fuck everyone else that gets in my way. I like her attitude more than her player design. I wish her player design was better. I wish it wasn't so, like, out. fan service. Well, anyway. I'll see you again. And I mean that in the wholehearted truth. Phew! Oh, man. That was pretty scary. Wow. Okay, so I didn't really get all of that, but basically, your character has some really messed up data, right? Yes. What? Really? Well then, then you should go and I like to point out, I started a tile and have for Adelaide, and we've only seen her once. It's not normal to go from level 133 to level 1 so suddenly. Yeah, I know. You're right. It's definitely not normal, but... I guess you could say my enemy's not normal either. Enemy? If that dangerous power, or whatever she was talking about, can help, then... Then I've got no choice but to keep using this character. Hmm, that sounds pretty serious to me. Oh well, anyway, good luck! You know what? Come to think of it, didn't that lady say that she had already called the Moon Tree Guild? That was just a bluff. No, it wasn't. She lied? No, not a lie, exactly. That old hag just never said she had actually called them. A bluff, huh? She's quite the strategist. Yeah, but it's not unlike Pi to actually call them. What's wrong? What are we doing wasting our time? I mean, what if those player killers come back here? Yeah, good point. Let's hurry back to town. So many S's. We got a word. We got an achievement for perfect score. Cool. Hey. Hmm? Why don't you have Moon Tree protect you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You've got those really strong looking PKers after you. <laughs> Moon Tree is a guild that supports the abolishment of PKs. And part of their mandate includes helping PK victims out. Moon tree, huh? Oh, them. <laughs> Do you want me to beg those hard-headed dorks to protect me? Forget about it. I'd rather be PK'd than be protected by all those lecturing loudmouths. Seriously, who makes a charity group in a game? Oh, it's Adelaide. What's wrong? How long have you been standing there? <sighs> what? You got a problem? Look, Haseo. 
You don't understand anything about Moon Tree, okay? I hate Adelaide. We're just trying to make the world a more enjoyable place. We just want to. I wish she wasn't a healer. I mean, doesn't everyone feel like being nice to someone? And she's only in the game to remind you the vaccine. We want to protect those feelings. We want to be able to protect those feelings. But everyone likes to make fun of us, saying we're just some charity group or some cult. We just want to improve together with everyone else. We are not here to lecture anyone. Do you get it? Do you understand? Do you, Hateo? Uh, like, no matter what you do, yeah. she just seems like a whiny child. Please, take this. I mean, cult is far off. What do you mean by cult? Oh, a cult of Moon Tree. Okay. Huh? I'm going to do everything within my power oh, to explain God. Moon Tree to you. I want you to better understand who we really hey there, are. Hey Hooters! Wait, don't I get a say in this? Moon Tree isn't hey. bad. They're... They yeah. run pretty much a lot of the world. And the, and people so, have right to be afraid of that. How did you even recognize me anyway? I mean, I don't look anything like I used to before. Well, I guess it's because you're still you. I hate a totally. Huh? It's true that I didn't recognize you at first. But soon after that, I realized it was you. Oh. Sakaki's calling. calling me, so I oh my god! Now, but I'll tell you a lot more about- That was an actual line! That was actually a line! I don't know. Atoli always is just- Was she a member of Moon Tree? That's great! If you're friends with a Moon Tree member, the PKers are bound to leave you alone. Man. Even though she's got the same face and everything, she's definitely not Shino. What's yes. wrong? Oh, nothing. Well, that was all really interesting. Okay, we're gonna head for another area. How about you, Haseo? No, I, uh... Okay, got it. Well, if you need anything, just call us. We'll help you out. See ya. Yeah, <laughs> later. Oh my God, Atoli is God, not a bad I'm character so beat. at a whole. What but was that about? She is just an annoying person. And what about that woman and the dangerous power she talked about? I'll log out and check my email or something. Okay, we can log out. We got new mail. Uh, log out. Yes. Let's go read our email. Oh, oh cool. We got stuff in the forums. Forums first. Ooh, new art. Enter. Terror of death. Uh, here's my shot drawing. Let's say the art... Haseo, the R2 celebrity known as the Terror of Death. I just brought this fresh pen yesterday and I wasted no time trying it out. But it hadn't been long, it had been so long that my arm was shaking. Ha ha ha. Uh, man, this guy's really amazing in a lot of ways. He's a rogue yet amazingly strong. Okay. Physically have to go uh, look at it. Okay. Oh, uh, let's read our email and save. I can't believe it's already two hours into the stream. It just flies. Oh God. Syllabus quest. How so? Would you like to try taking on a quest on with us? You may already know this, but quests are like part-time. Syllabus. We've been over this. I am not new. You can drop the act. Basically, there are people in the world who have problems and we help them out. By completing quests at the quest shop, you'll receive a reward that matches the content of the quest. So you'll be able not to only level up, but earn some money at the same time. If you're interested, there's a quest shop near the war point in Central District of Makanu. Right now, you can probably take on a quest called the Crown Quest. If, you give, if you're up to it, invite Gaspar to me. We'll happily help you out. Uh, no way. Thanks for adventuring together with me. I never thought... 
I would never have thought you were the real terror of death. I've heard a lot about you. There was a fourth... This was the fourth time I've been targeted by PKers. I'm just glad I didn't actually this time rolling on the floor laughing. Uh, so what are you going to do now? It must be really rough having to start from over. So there's two options. of there. Uh, we can say, there's no need for me to say what I'm going to do next. So what did you hear about me? Or I'm going to be leveling up. Otherwise, I can't even walk around the world without feeling inadequate. Basically, one ends the conversation with him and one continues it. This one is just him being smart and snarky. This is him being somewhat nice. So we send it. Gaspard. So you were really the terror of death? I was so surprised. I wonder how many times I've been PK'd by now. LOL. Apparently, Beast Race characters are really easy targets. Something like, I don't feel bad about killing it because it's just a dying animal. If there's anything syllabus and I can do to help, please let us know. Uh, if you find anything about Triage, let me know. Or, I don't have any business with you. Obviously, there's a right answer. Hi, Pi. Uh, this is basically a repeat of what we went over before, but don't forget. Your character's high is a very dangerous power, and we are the only ones who are capable of controlling it. Uh, who do you think you are showing up out of nowhere and spouting off nonsense? Get out of my face, or... Have you seen Triad? <laughs> um, just, who are you anyway, lady? Do you, don't you know... Do you not get how cryptic that sounds? Okay, I have a question. I started to talk a thing about this. I feel like I have to start another one of how many times that he says, Have you seen Triage? I'm looking for Triage. Um, so, this is our friendship tracker. You have Adelie here. The little hearts here shows you how much progression you have at French points. We know that Atoli here, like small birds, likes chatting with moon trees and just says nice to meet you um syllabus wants a new cell phone a jeep power nine graphics card and an advanced n2d and he's got your back uh gaspard his favorite thing is napping he loves paleo he doesn't like avocado or natto and his tagline that everyone can see is haseo play with me this is why i fucking love gaspard he loves food, he loves napping, and he idolizes us. Sylvest, I want tech. Gaspard, love me. Okay. So I guess we have to go do the quest now. I forgot to save. We'll save in the game. Uh, Delta Eternal City, Makanu. Wait, wasn't I supposed to go to a cathedral? Uh, memoirs. Uh, isn't that just stuff that's happened? Yeah, it's just pretty much what happened in the game. Uh, party. Thanks for inviting me. Just give me two seconds. Okay, there you go. Yes, I'll say. Save. Wait, did I not save? Uh, yeah. Come on. God, that light's blinding. Uh, Dr. Kubo will give us a text of wisdom if someone can get the chim crown for him. And we need three people. Chasing Cupid's phantom. So we'll be taking the quest. Please wait just a moment. Waddle, 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 waddle. Hello, this is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers here who have accepted your quest. For some reason, they didn't feel like giving him a thing. Hello, Dr. <laughs> Kupo. <laughs> My name is Koopo. Dr. Koopo, that is. My research relates to chimchims. What? What kind of research? Well, now, that's a secret. I can't tell you that. Anyway, I want you to retrieve the chim crown for me. Have you ever met the King Chim Chim? He's a giant chim chim that rarely appears. As his name implies, he has a magnificent crown on his head. I want that crown. I have a few ideas on where King Chim Chim is likely to show up. I want you to go there and get the chim crown. 
I've prepared plenty of rewards for you, so do your best. It's pretty difficult to kick the king. King Chim Chim? Isn't that the huge one? Yes. Okay, now we go back. More warping. We have more warps in Steven Universe. And loading screens. Then Resident Evil. Chaos Gate. Warp menus. Bookmarks. Delta chasing Cupid's Phantom. It's another dungeon. Fuck. Why can't it be fields? Fields are so much better. I guess we should start looking for places where King Chim Chim could be hiding. King Chim Chim attacks by jumping on you. So I wonder where he is. Somewhere in this dungeon. So let's start. Drink. And yeah, we're gonna need chimp chimps if I remember correctly. So we're just gonna sit here and we're gonna farm up a little. I remember when I first played this, I thought, oh, okay, we just have to sit here and keep kicking this. I think I got up to like 99 just waiting, like, oh, he's not spawning! We'll get up to 40. Oh crap! Equipment! I forgot! We gotta win Ga- uh, win Guy Go! One more. There we go. Cause there's gonna be a lot of gym doors. Do 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 waiting fights. I mean yeah we can over level, but where's the fun in that? Okay, please don't be a trap chest. Okay. I do not have a post-it up yet. I have it written down on a piece of paper of what equals what, but I still think it's gonna take me a little bit to get it down. Just give me the treasure chest and we'll be good. I think I might need more chim chims. I mean, we already just spent 15 of the, like, the 20 we got. Yeah, we spent like 15. Did you guys let one go? Oh my god, I only got two. Okay, we have to time that better. Gotta get it back up to 40. More chim doors. Um, I mean, I could go that way, but let's check what's this way. Chim chims. I always feel like a ninja running through here, because it's like do 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 do. It's a monkey. What's that? It's a new way, Haseo. It's a new way. We've got to huh? kick it. Um. Haseo, King Chim Chim will show up if you kick the Nue. What? So, we just need to kick it. Uh, Lucky Animals. This is a mysterious animal known as a lucky animal that lives in this area. Approach and kick it to receive various blessings. However, there are also bum lucky animals that bring bad luck. They have an angry symbol on top of their head. No problem. Leave it to me. Come on. Receive the blessing. Summon a King Chim Chim. This is a King Chim Chim. If you kick the Chim, he'll get angry and attack you. Repeatedly kick him and evade his attack to defeat him. If you do, you'll receive an enormous amount of Chim Spear. Chim Spear. 
Let's get it over with. Hand that over. Okay, attack. Jump. Kick. Kick, 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 kick. Nope, jump. Thank you for the gym crown. I knew you could do it. Phew! <laughs> I thought we were gonna turn it. <gasps> we need to go to the quest shop. Um. Okay! So apparently I can't get the treasure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Back over. Oh, you're back already? That was fast. Hand over the chip mm -hmm. crown. Ah, yes, this is a crim crown, all right. I'm surprised you're able to retrieve it so quickly. <laughs> How do you feel about doing some work on the side for me? There's something I want you to help me with. My home is in the mercenary district. It doesn't matter when, but please do come visit. We'll discuss the details when you do. Farewell! Um, receive text to whistle. Jobs. That's it. Okay. Receive new mail. Uh, I want to see what the scroll whistle. Thank you for telling me your card. Uh, text of Wyndham increases your magic attack value by three. Huh, okay. Well, let's go over to the harbor. He did say harbor in the merc- or did he say the mercenary district? Because I'm pretty sure this is his, or is this the bike? Okay, that's Dr. Keffels. Never mind. I, I I forgot about the delay, okay? Mercenary. Hi there. Oh, look, it's the little chimps. Hello, Dr. <laughs> Koho. I've been waiting for you to come play me, pay me a visit. I have some important work for you. What I have to understand at this point is top secret. You mustn't speak it to anyone, do you understand? I'm working on a project to cultivate chimchimps. Certainly there is no method that activates to cultivate chim spears, and thus must be collected in the wild. But if we change that, it can be a, quite a revolution. However, in order to complete my project, I need some detailed data on chimchimps. This is what I want you to do for me. Here, take this. It's a portable scanner that holds the essence of steam technology within it. Each time you kick a chim chim, the radar will automatically scan and record the data. It's also important that the data you gathered in the past, any chim chim data will suffice. But the more rare the chim chim, the more data you'll be able to attend. I will award you based on how much you've gathered. Hold on, I need to turn on the light. Oh, I almost forgot. As you know, I'm also looking for chim crowns. Chim crowns have the mysterious ability to generate far more chim spheres than a normal chim chim. It's absolutely necessary that essential that I get them in order to complete my project. If you can bring me any chim crowns, I'll reward you handsomely. Well then, please do your best. How's it going? Not bad. Here, I'll give you this. Thank you for the whole scroll, antidote scroll. Huh, I still don't have enough chim chim data. Go and collect more. Uh, I'll scroll learn rep and learn rep duck. Well, I'm just a good person. Hold on. Does alt tab. Do, 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 do. Display capture. Does Gaspard learn rep on his own? hack GU. No, oh, yeah, this is literally just his character stuff.
I told you it's a great power healer. I'm sure they said the only reason they give you more than two very late is how good they are. Oh, so he's pretty much, he's not supposed to be a magic healer. Okay. Oh, wait, we have to physically just log out. Hold on. New mail. Notice campaign. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patrons of the world. This is informing you that you can now participate in the King Chen's Kicker campaign. For further details, please talk to the NPC client, Dr. Kupo. Dr. Kupo is in Mac Anu's mercenary district. Uh, well, we already did that. Uh, totally. Let's get going. Since you insisted, I decided to email you. There's an area that I love. I was wondering if you'd like to join me. The area is Delta Submissive Tragedies A Thousand Oaks. Sincerely, Adelie. Uh, Hokoto to Lena. How you been, Lena? Been doing alright? Things been getting terrible with my real life, as usual. I know it's summer vacation for students right now, but how are you doing with pr preparation for entrance exam? You're into science, right? That's amazing. For a literal major like myself, I just respect anyone that can do math. So how did your meeting with the guys counselor go? Personally, I just chose my college books my college because of one of the professors here wrote on one of my favorite books. This is something I haven't told either to him or my parents. So in a way, I don't have a very specific goal when I came here. Of course, your major is going to be different from mine, so I guess my opinion won't help you as much. Sorry. God, what does this guy write? A fucking paragraph? Um... Still, I don't think there are many people that would go to college with a specific goal in mind these days. I think it would be great to figure out what you do, what you want to do during the four years you're there. In my case, I still don't know what I want to do even after turning the big three out. Although, I will still be able to become a translator. While I was in college, I majored in Western and Celtic literature. You know, since the previous version of the world was built around a Celtic theme, even down to the music, so that's probably why I liked it so much. It's too bad that the current world is pretty far removed from the origins based on the Emma Williams' worldly perspective of the epitaph of Twilight. Yeah, I mean, I can I can give it to Gaspard, and he could be a healer. Like they said, he has one of the highest special defenses and stuff. But if he's such a great magic user, maybe I should give it to Sylvus. Because fucking Sylvus is useless. Um, by the way, how's your brother doing? Did he finally give up on that basketball and start studying for his entrance, entrance exams? A lot of people have used the version upgrade as an opportunity to kick the habit. I don't know what happened to me to all those former dot hackers, but I'm pretty sure that they're doing all right. Hey, maybe some of them changed their characters and they're still playing, lol. Right now I'm stuck in the house every day working on a translation of an overseas mystery novel. Things are the same here, are the same with her, as they've always been. We are as indifferent towards each other as ever. Sorry, I'll stop talking about her. Once I get started, the complaints will just never stop. Uh, okay, take care, Lena. Give your best to your brother. I, if you ever come to college here in Tokyo, let's be sure to meet up, Hakuto. Okay, is this, like, I don't remember ever reading something like this in the original. Is this something that has to do with Haseo's normal life? Oh, okay. Uh, Black Rose. Well, why is Haseo getting them? Uh, well, do you have you calmed down a bit from then, then? From back then? I feel like I managed to get back to my life. I don't... I do feel kind of lonely not being able to log into the world, though. But since I refuse to let Kazu play online games, I can't justify playing them myself. Are you planning together with Orca, or is Orca banned just like Kazu? Back then, I didn't have any ideas as to what was going on. I was just plowing ahead, doing whatever was set before me to do. I'm so glad we managed to resolve it. So here's why I'm emailing. I wanted to say that 
I want to say this when we had that online offline party, but I wasn't able to bring up the courage. I'm glad I got to know you. Sure, I was a surprise when I found out you were younger than me, and when I saw you acting so insecure, I may have yelled at you a bit, but if it wasn't for you, I think I would never have been able to help Kazu. If I had tried to help him all by myself, I might have ended up just as he did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to go back to go as far as I did. I think... It was because you were there that I was able to make it to the end. So let me say this back to you now. If you haven't been there, I could never have done it. So thank you. I think I might be in love with you. Psych, I might still log in from time to time. If I do, I hope that it can be... Uh, I can have a nice, normal adventure together. Okay, so Black Rose was one of the things. And Kazu, wasn't that Kite? In terms of this is just pretty much telling you what happens to the character after the events of one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so I have a question. Am I allowed to skip all the cutscenes in which Adelie is talking about how beautiful the world is? That's an honest to god question. Haseo! Have you just been waiting there? Have you literally for coming today. just waiting there for me to yeah. log in? So, would you please invite me to your party? I didn't accept, I didn't write to you, to or anything. So were you just stalking oops. people logging in? Like, is that Haseo? Fuck, no. Next person. Are you Haseo? Fuck, no. Let's move on. Like, I love thinking about what NPCs do. God, I hate you totally. I don't know who I hate worse, Jessica or her. I even, see, I even think she goes as far as saying, let's not kill anything. Hope I didn't bother you. Uh, totally. If you think you're bothering me, don't send me an email in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my very favorite areas. The moon tonight looks even prettier than usual. Prettier than usual? Yeah, right. Come on. I mean, this is just an online game. Now then, let's go find the beast statue. Okay. Sorry, I took a second. Apparently things are going on. T the fuck is that noise? I literally can't get past them. I think it's up there. Or is it the orgs? You just, you just kicked the wolf! I mean, attack set, yeah. The attack set makes really good stuff for uh, trading. Oh, it's the ogres, okay. If I don't need to fight them, I will not. No, I, I was checking Twitter for a second. I got stuck on it because it totally was talking and her, and her voice just goes through me. Hold on, do I actually... Okay, so there's altar, altar, altar. Okay, so there's four altars and one of them is actually like a trap chest. I can't remember which one it was. Let's just get this segment over with. It's my turn. I love how she doesn't even fight. Her thing is like, I'm just gonna wait until you start dying and healing you. Like old mercy. Gale blade. Bring Gale blade. Way to go, huh, Sal? Oh, 
Oh my god! Yes! What the? What is this, a robot? Course unknown! Fuel insufficient! Function shut down! Emergency landing! Passing life form detected! Begin fuel request! Hey bro! Be a bud! Give me some chimsphere, please! Yes, bro! I will give you all the wa all the chimspheres you want! Oink! Thank you for helping me! Oink! Uh, mecca! Mecca! It seems to have crashed, but not in this area. Something is falling. Thank you. Anyone that says they do not like Mecha Grunty does not deserve to play okay. this game. The origin of the name Moon Tree comes from. Not interested. Now, now. It won't hurt you just to listen, will it? Moon Tree is run by a council of officers known as the Seven Council. You remember who Sakaki is, right? He is one of the officers. I know. Man, I don't have time for this. Hey, Haseo, wait! Please wait! Okay, so apparently the guy that was fired from Flash for making really bad racist, homophobic uh, tweets from years ago... Apparently, the people were saying that the I killed my mom because I was um, PMSing from that SVU episode. It's my turn. Apparently, she is pretty bad on stat. And people are complaining about her, and I'm trying to figure out what she did. Stop hitting me. Thank you. Yes, hit the chest. Oh, that works out better. Die! That was nothing. Why do you have the hack wiki open? Is it because you just want to sit there and, and, and be Slow. able to look stuff up? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out eventually. Don't hit me. Thank you. So, Tola, you're gonna fucking heal or do something? Have you learned your lesson? I told you you're useless. Okay, hold on. I gotta look at the key. Okay. Oh god. Uh, yeah, I, I need to find a better way of doing that. Because it, it's so many button prompts, I don't know what it is. And I'm looking down, I'm looking up. Maybe there's a mod. Slow! Die! Ah! That's awkward. Die! 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 I did say it was my favorite thing to do. It does a lot of damage, it's just simply just waiting. Die! Die! Have you learned your lesson? God, we have to listen to her talk again. Uh, oh, straight down, cool. Cutscene. No, okay. Heaven slash. I love it gives me We've equipment for, for her. We're going back to the town. Were you shocked, Adelie? Hey. Um, Haseo? What? 
I've already heard enough about Moon Tree Guild. Haseo, do you... do you hear something coming from over there? Uh, nope. That can't be right. See? There is something there. Let's go find out what it is. Huh? Why do I have to go too? Just go check by yourself. Oh, come on. Won't you please come with me? I have a question. Fine, fine. Is Adelie important to up, the whole I'll go of... with you. Like, Thanks. Is she it's important to the story? Like, is she as important like Kuhn or Haseo? Like, is she an actual... Oh, fuck. She's an epitaph. I hate it totally. <laughs> okay. Well, we haven't explained epitaph yet. I know. We have to go... I should fall. No. Oh. What a strange... Really? I went the other way. I... What a strange sound. Maybe. Listen to that. You can hear something coming from over there. Huh? What is it, Haseo? This sign. It's Triage. What? Triage? Is that what it's called? I love how they don't voice what? act that. Haseo! We're being sucked towards Triage's sign. Ah! Where? Are we in the Lost Grounds? Wow, look at this underground lake. This might just be a fantastic new discovery, Haseo. Haseo, someone's there. It is a pretty tree. Entrance! What is that? It's so pretty. That sound, it's coming from that person. That guy, what's up with him? Well, let's go ask him. Wait, please! It's dangerous! Stop! Stay back! Take this! And now, Magus!
you get them? Whew. All done. You two okay? Hi, Coon. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'm very welcomed here. Well, whatever. Hey, you, over there. Are you okay? Uh, what, you know, you don't have to do the whole Johnny on Bosch thing, right, Kat? You, what do you can just mean, go on what Johnny happened? Bosch. That's what this credit's under. I think I was attacked by a strange monster. Then I heard a loud sound that startled me, and uh, I don't remember anything after that. What the? Did she faint in real life, too? At any rate, I'm glad I got here in time. Who are you? Who, me? Oh, I'm, uh... Well, I'm an investigator for CC Corp. One of the system administrators? A game master? Well, something like that. I got a report about a bug in this area, and so I rushed right over. So, that monster was actually a bug? Right. It would probably be best to stay away from here until the data finishes repairing. No. There's no way in hell that was a bug data. How could a player faint from something like that? Not to mention, what was that... That giant puppet thing that defeated the monster. Puppet? So, you were able to see the Avatar. Avatar? The last airbender. That's right, Mr. Haseo, the Terror of Death. Do CC Corp investigators usually remember a player's nickname? Hardly. I couldn't help but think it was too much of a coincidence to meet up with you here. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. I bet that you would like to know a lot more about avatars. Am I right? Not really. You can use one too. Huh? The fact that you were able to see my avatar means that you and your character have the right attributes. Haseo, your character hides something. There is a dangerous power inside you. Come on. Come over to our headquarters and you'll see. And while you're at it, you might be able to get some info on Tri-Edge. How did you... Who told you about that? Like I said, that's just one more reason why you should come. Looks like this is a big fiasco. How can you just... Brush off something that happened to you like this. What's what's wrong, Haseo? Why are you acting so scary all of a sudden? If we hadn't been lucky, you'd have... No. It's nothing. Oh. I know. Hey. This whole triage thing. But it caused thing. you a lot of trouble with what happened, right? I love so you... Exactly, you brought up a good point. Haseo's like, have you seen triage? To anyone that will fucking talk to him. And he even has a point of having somewhat of a fan club online. And then some guy's like, oh, you're Haseo, the terror of death. It's like, how do you know that? Who told you that? And he goes, well, you're looking for triad. And he's like, what? No, I didn't tell anyone that. It's like, Haseo, you literally told everyone. You would tell anyone that would give you the time of day that you're looking for triad. Realize it. I'm sorry. Um, do you think... That you could give me another chance? Listen, the next time you invite me, make it somewhere where we can level up. <clears throat> Shut up, Hasayo. Even the Lost Grand should have a platform. We need to find it before returning into town. I like Lost Grounds. They're always, they're always so pretty. To town. Okay, we 
got five red unread emails. Um, one second. Norma texted me. I need to look at something. Okay. Be right back for one sec. It's just easier to go talk to her for a minute. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I think the last bit we're gonna do. Okay, I'm um, equipment. Yeah, he can't wear that, and I'm not giving a totally shit. If I, I think uh, Gaspard can wear the uh, sky armor, so let's give it to him next time we go level up with him. You have three important emails. Okay. Uh. I know I run in a, an arena storyline with her. That is down the road. I know that. But Gaspard is better. Coon, girls I like a lot. Girls I don't. None. You like orange, yellow, red? Okay, let's go for it. Okay. So we got three emails. Um, we got Hakoto. Did I actually send you an email I meant for someone else? I'm terribly sorry for the intrusion. Please ignore it. Um, okay. Hey, hello, Haseo. The last run was full of surprises, wasn't it? There was a monster that was looked like a bug and a system administrator. But most of all, the person beneath the lake tree felt very strange. What do you think the sound I heard from the direction? Sincerely, Atoli. Uh, what do you mean by that sound? Thanks for... Thanks to everything that happened, we never got that much XP, did we? What do you mean by that sound? That sounds like a much better answer. I almost forgot. Hey... Haseo, how are you doing? Um, that place the other day was pretty rough, wasn't it? I never thought we encountered PKs. But, by the way, I never told you about the skill trigger menu. Of course, you probably already know this since you're the terror of death. Anyhow, if you go to the Y, select skill trigger, your current skills panels, and basically, okay. On that case, I'm going to write down the other basic things. Of press B when knocked up, and press A when knocked down. A is this, and B is that. Okay. Another thing. Yeah, I already done customization. Invitation to HQ. Um, come to our at home located in Amok on his mercenary Texas. I'll take you to our guild Raven. Oh, and don't tell anyone about this. It's sensitive matters for us to communicate CC with special Corp. players. There's a good chance they'd know something normal players wouldn't. No matter how insignificant it might be, as long as I can get some information on Shino and Triedge, I don't care. Who's waiting for me in the mercenary district? I'd better hurry. Okay. We're gonna save here. And... We are going to find out what Kuhn wants next time. Unfortunately, there is only like 10 minutes left of the stream. And that's not a lot of time to go doing a whole bunch of stuff with an RPG. So I'm going to end it here. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday and um, Steam's going to go down. We're either going to do um, some sort of a blizzard night with the Overwatch and World of Warcraft. Or we may continue more of Haseo the Terror of Death. Because this was fun. I enjoyed it. Anywho... We go live tomorrow at 6. If you 
don't follow the stream, please consider doing so as you'll get notification on when I go live. I also post on Twitter before I do, and you can find that in the link below. Thank you guys for having for showing up and having a blast with me. It was a great time, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hope everyone has a great night.